right, the super fight is finally here. The UFC champion in all his glory trying to become a simultaneous two-division champion here tonight. This is a lofty, lofty perch. Few men or women have been on it. Let's see if he can complete his mission here tonight. changes hands well it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist given all the skills he brings to the table the question is fighting a challenger like this can he hold on to the belt if he can just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen Till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. McGregor is 14 years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a boxer holding a professional record of 20 wins no losses he stands five feet nine inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds fighting out of las vegas nevada usa presenting the challenger pretty boy and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. start here tonight as he tries to become a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. This is some rarefied air that has not been occupied by too many fighters. He has prioritized getting off to a good start here tonight against the naturally bigger man. Let's see how it plays out. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Barely missed on an upper cut right here on the inside. Beautiful 
straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so tender. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. You got him with his hip into that kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Good punch. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Slips to avoid that left. there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice punch there by McGregor. Powerful leg kick land. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. McGregor gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Hook is there again. Oh, that's a nice strike. Switching stances here. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, nice straight punch there by McGregor. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Round two straight ahead. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Listen, I need you to stay busy out there, okay? You lost that round only because you got out work. Let's wake up, let's get going, okay? All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Hey, round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice straight punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo wheel, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice stick with the right hand. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us? He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Great punch. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Slips. Good second round for him thus far after a somewhat oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. And just misses with that big right hand. Punch over the top. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. 
Oh, misses with the jab. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Try to establish that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. All right, round three coming up next. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With Corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, most fighters... Oh! Dude's hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Hey. Misses with that punch. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to win. Oh, McGregor's strike attempt there is blocked. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. That's a big strike right there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! Protecting his head, raising the guard. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. Oh! Holy smokes! Put it to sleep! Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 20 seconds to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right, it looks like Steve's doing the job. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. 
All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter so those right. seminal championship fights? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Whoa! Finish could come here at any time. Oh! Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh! That was a jail. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got him. Lifts the punch nicely there. Uppercut there blocked by McGregor. An uppercut landed. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. He wins the super fight to become a two-division UFC champion. That is rarefied air in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 54 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Pitty Ball. Well, get that man a second waist, put a belt over his shoulder. He has become a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Rarified air. Only a select handful of guys in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship have won a belt in two divisions, and you can add his name to that list. Absolutely incredible what he accomplished in this arena here tonight.